Long before the first ships from Europe reached the distant shores of tropical Africa, a powerful and peaceful network of trade already existed. It was a vast commercial system whose markets and links by land and sea stretched as far as India and China. Its African heart lay far from the coast, here in the great medieval empire of Mali. Today, Mali is among the poorest countries in the world. But 600 years ago, it was a land of wealth and comfort. This is Jenne, still a flourishing market town, but once a commercial center of far-ranging importance. Jenne guaranteed the prosperity of a great regional system, attracting camel caravans which brought merchandise from all points of the compass. The reason is explained in a single word. This was an economy based on gold. And that gold is much in evidence, even today. The fascinating story of the caravans of gold may be unknown or quite forgotten in the outside world, but here in Jenny it's a story that remains vividly alive. Even a little side street of this ancient city, once part of the great empire of Mali, can afford a glimpse of rich traditions from the past. The fine jewellery of his craft still reflects the brilliance of the golden trade of old West Africa. The smith usually works from quantities of gold dust melted in a crucible and then fashioned by skillful beating into shapes long hallowed by tradition. The design of these earrings may reflect the art of the individual craftsman but it never strays too far from the recognized styles preferred by the different peoples of the region, Bambara, Mandinka, Soninke, and others. Each of these peoples has its own distinctive jewelry. The size, rather than the style, gives an indication of a person's standing. Here, gold has always been used as much for display as for a standard of wealth. <laughs> 